Okay, this is a video for my top five earphones between the prices of $200 and $300, continuing my series leading up to the end of the year and my favorite picks. And this is the Banger T. What is that? Please indulge me for a second and watch this. I bought this years ago at Ala Moana Shopping Center in Hawaii at the Hallmark store, and it's... Check out the, check out the bells. Check him out. Check him out, he's winging his tail. Look at that. Look at him wiggling his little tail. Look at that. No! Oh, that's cute as fuck. Come on now. Come on now. Um, the Mangard T. It's a single dynamic driver, 6BA, which is a very good combo for its price. Not only that, but it's tuned brilliantly. It doesn't have too much bass, but it's got plenty. The people that have bought this, the feedback that's been coming back over the months, I've noticed they listen to lots of different kinds of music than I do. They listen to jazz and they listen to EDM and it seems to fit everybody and by looking at a graph that's got not too much mid bass and it's got proper mids and it's got a pina gain that's not over 7 dB, it's got a nice slope, it's got info that's going all the way out off the scale. Remember this is an amplitude scale, the amplification of frequencies relative to what's in front and behind it. That's what it's telling you. It's not how the music's gonna sound, but it might give you an indication of certain instruments might take precedence over others. This set doesn't really do that, and it's loved because of that. That would be my number one set in the range. For under $300, it's crazy. The second one would be the Ayun Jasper. This was a set that I was comparing. What, what I'm, let me do the hand signal again when I edit this. I'm listening to a kick drum, let's say that's supposed to have authority. I want something that's got just enough bass to do that and not overwhelm the rest of the stuff. I want something that's got proper mids and not too much gain though, so when I'm listening to a solo, uh, an acoustic like D by Randy Rhodes and the squeaking of his fingers going up the fretboard and the pulls and the slides and I want to hear all that stuff. I don't want it to be too much. I don't want it to be disappeared behind that veil and a haze. I want it to sound the way that I enjoy it. And it's, a, it's that that's a classical guitar mm, interlude by Randy Rhodes, and uh, it sounds great on the sets that I'm recommending to you right now, among other things that I usually tell you guys about. It's all about music is the context. Um, the oxygen with elastic tips. This is important that you get these tips because it's got a short stem. I've liked it from the beginning. It's said that the person who did the tuning did some other sets that you'd be very familiar with. I couldn't get it to fit unless I pushed it in and it would sometimes, so it's it's my ear. But this is like the Arsonics uh, Sure Seals. I think that's what they were called and those helped me a lot with my Sony EX1000s and this is doing the same for sets that were not working for me otherwise. This will do it with the oxygen. If you get the oxygen and these tips in whatever size you choose because it will seal and you will get the deal. You got to get the tuning that the tuners intended for you to get tuners that are tuning. Too many T's. Too many T's. I did it again. Okay, moving on. Um, TAL5 would be another one that I would pick. I gotta say that if I was asked, which one would you prefer? The L4 that you put in the one to two hundred dollars, which is a cheap range, or the L5. The L... That's the AUN Jasper. It's very good. That's it by itself. It also goes way out it's got no obnoxious dips. This is an example of obnoxious. $3,000. Moving right along. This is the L5. It's very polite as well. Thea is just really doing well. Um, they're not misstepping. They're, they got mids, ap mids after mids with all of their sets. The L4, I don't have a graph of on this computer. It's on the other one. It's got mm, pretty similar bass. It's got nice mids, and it's got treble like the Monarch, which is a little bit more than this. So there sounds to be sounds like there's more space, uh, especially for live stuff. Like um, still haven't found what I'm looking for by U2, Freebird by Leonard Skinner, stuff like that. I seem to be in more space than I am with the L5. So I would take the L4 over the L5, though. It's a great set. And my fifth one would be the Sony N3A. You don't need the B with the bounce cable because you can use your own bounce cable. That's the only difference between the AP and the AB. I don't know what the hell P means. B means bounce. P means... 
I have no idea. So Manger T A U and Jasper Oxygen X Elastic C A L five Sony L three A. These pads on this Belon thirty are just they're the same ones that were on the uh, the Auto Phantom. They fit so nice. Like tips make a difference on IEMs. Nice little segue. N pads do make a difference on headphones. I saw Zio do a video talking about pads and I thought, oh, trying to put lipstick on a pig and now he knows more than I do about headphones and it makes a huge difference to put proper pads on the proper set and this is what's happening with the Belons. Get them. $18. It's worth the investment. Um, very, very nice. I'll be doing a full review for that. And... Uh, Anything? Oh, one other thing. This is Heart Audio. I want to give a shout out to them. I, they didn't give me anything. I paid for this set by myself. These are these are nice. Seventy five bucks, yo. Seventy five bucks, and my U M M E S T will go with anything. T R S quarter inch, three point five T R S, four pin X L R. 2.5 TRRS, 3.5 TRRS, and a 4.4 TRS. I can, I can interface with anything, any kind of desktop gear, any kind of portable gear. My MESTs are ready, and I'm gonna get the black ones next and put that on the Sure. Speaking of Sure, I'm sure you're familiar with Sure. They're releasing uh, EJ09. The EJ07 is an interesting set because it's instigated more people to come and leave comments on my channel about how they found what they were looking for and thank you very much and they were going to be moving on and then they mentioned some kind of music and a memory and it was like a pattern that I made I did a video about it it, it moved me because I music is uh, the scrapbook of my life I hear a song and I remember being in the car with my mother 50 ways to leave your lovers of me sitting in the car I can't see over the dashboard because I'm too small but I can see my mother's hair below and I can see out the passenger window and I can see up out the windshield but I can't see over it and I'm listening to 50 Ways by um, Paul Simon, M my mother, other music. Um, a lot of Led Zeppelin tracks remind me of stuff during junior high school. I w I'm not that old but that's when I was listening to that the most and so music is a scrapbook and uh, it's very important to me and all the people that praise the EJ07 we're not just saying it's a good set, thank you very much. They were talking about specific m music. Like, I listened to this and I just thought, I'm out of here. And I thought, Jesus Christ. And this is a set that was kind of blown off by people because they were looking at the treble and not listening to the music because those are fucking excellent. That's, they're in custom because they're fucking excellent. They're next to the UMMEST because they're excellent. And they're going to put two new drivers in it and call it the EJ09. So, yeah, looking forward to that. And I'll leave you with this. Look at his tail shaking the bell. Tell me that's not cute. Look at this fucking thing. And I'll let you guys go. Look at his little butt. Oh, get the fuck out of here. You guys, everybody have a Merry Christmas if I don't do another video before then. We're out of here. Look at you. Show me your butt. Show me, show me, show me. One more. Yeah, I'm making you wait. Oh, bam! There you go. We got any more? One more. Shake that tail. Brrr, Merry Christmas, you guys. I'm out.